All right, so we've got the neck glued on, and now it is time to install the hardware. Start by putting on the tuners. This is pretty straightforward, just line them up in a straight line. The quality seems fine, it'd probably be a good idea to upgrade at some point. Usually I will upgrade tuners, depending on how well they hold tune. Just drill a little pilot hole here for the screw on each tuner. This hardware feels pretty solid, it's got a little bit of weight to it, so it doesn't feel terribly cheap or anything. Kind of want to get an idea of how snug these are going to fit, the bushings for the tailpiece. So I'm doing this late at night. I have a lot of neighbors, so I'm going to try not to make too much noise. are going to require a little bit more force. I can't seem to locate my rubber mallet. It's possible that would work better for this, but the hammer with the oven mitt I had to move that to a different spot to hammer in the tailpiece bushings and the bridge post bushings, but they went in just fine. The bridge posts screw in fine. This is the standard tunematic style bridge. Just a little bit of one of the pins is at a little bit of an angle, just required a little bit of force to push that on there. And now the fun part, I'm not a big fan of wiring, it's just not something I enjoy doing. I always seem to make a wrong connection somewhere and do something that requires a lot of troubleshooting.
This guitar is not terribly difficult to fish the wiring through. I've had some that were much more awkward, but this one's fine. Just gonna install a couple of the screws in the pickup just to sort of keep it from falling out as I'm moving this guitar around with the wiring. solder on the three-way switch soldering is probably my least favorite part of any guitar project I didn't take a video of the rest of my soldering process mainly because I, I had one connection on the three-way switch that was wrong and so, it's, so I had to do some troubleshooting and figure out what went wrong and anyway I didn't video the rest of the soldering but you would not want to copy my soldering technique anyway. Put on a cream colored switch tip. It actually came with black, uh, black knobs and switch tip, but I just happened to pull out a cream one and it looks fine. So I may also use some different control knobs than the ones that came with the guitar. These are just some old, old gold colored knobs that I have that I think will look good on this guitar. in the back control plate and this is not fitting very well looks like it was possibly cut to the wrong shape pretty far off actually 
see if I can try to make this cover plate fit. Using some heavy duty scissors here to trim off some of the excess plastic material. I'd say so far this is really the only piece of the guitar that was not really even close to fitting. Finally got it in there. And there it is. The hardware is all on the guitar. We installed the tuners, the tailpiece, the bridge, both pickups, the pick guard, the control plate panel. Got everything wired up to the three-way switch in the pots. And we have control knobs on. So everything went together pretty easily, other than the wiring, which is always an issue for me. But everything seems to work. Next will be to string up the guitar and uh, set it up.